is and Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's Summer of Pain, week number eight. And this is going to be against Emma Frost. All right, so I didn't really have fun with this one. Um, I'm not going to say that the bugs in the game right now, the parry control issues, uh, were the primary cause, but they did play a factor in these fights. All right, but more on that as we are uh, doing these fights because I'm taking you on the complete journey. I'm not uh, cutting anything out. This is the complete journey. You get to see everything that I had to deal with. Now, Emma Frost is annoying in the first place. I remember when she first came to the contest, I was not happy with the uh, reverse controls thing. I didn't like that mechanic. I still don't like that mechanic. Uh, I just don't do well with that mechanic. I, I will, after a while, get used to it, but I just don't like it. Now, they, of course, introduced those types of things, you know, for um, to spice things up a little bit, you know? So anyway, uh, Emma Frost, She's got, you know, her normal ugly mechanic, but she goes into diamond form and normally you would break her armor, knock her out of diamond form. And there's not that many champions that can even do that, but that would be a way that you wouldn't have to fight a long fight. But Kabam said, no, we don't want you to have a short fight. We want the fight to be long and boring. So they made her armor break immune. Now, as soon as I saw that, I was like, really? Then I also saw, and you see they, I'm just getting wrecked, um, but this is my first time going in. Um, they also had that true focus, which basically just says no, no ghost, no quake, although ghost can still work. Um, you just can't play her normally. And you can see here, I got frustrated. Okay, real quick. You know, I'm just like, okay, you know what? That wasn't working uh, very well because I I'm not the greatest fan of Guillotine 2099. She is a great champion. She is awesome, but she requires some ramp up. And in a fight like this, you have to ramp her up in the fight. There's nothing uh, that you can do to carry over anything. You can't do any uh, synergies, nothing like that. All right. Now, if you know how to fight her, um, it's not quite as bad as if obviously you don't know how to fight her. And like I said, some of the parry control issues uh, did play a factor a couple of times uh, that you'll see that I got wrecked was because it didn't evade. I wasn't able to evade. Like uh, a lot of times when you see her hitting me into my block, I'm trying to evade and it's not letting me and I'm getting hit into my block, okay? So with guillotine 2099, you wanna build up your combo meter to 100 and then you can actually start doing some good damage, all right? Um, the other thing that makes this fight really, really annoying is the fact that there is oscillate, okay? Now, oscillate, means she's going to have these two phases. Like you see, she has a fury up there, which will make her do more damage, but she's also going to be more aggressive. Okay. We want her to be more aggressive. She'll fire her specials off regularly. Now this mode that you see here is supposed to be the passive mode. This is where she has armor up, but look at that. You saw that she just fired off her special. This is the mode that she's supposed to just relax, you know, be more defensive but she was firing off her specials. That is what makes this fight really annoying because she's so unpredictable, you know? Uh, and I'm sure that's something that Kabam was loving. You know, you, you don't know when she's gonna fire off her special at all. You know, like right here, see how she's just sitting back, but suddenly she attacked me and I'm trying to evade and it's not letting me evade. So I'm taking a lot of damage 
because it just won't let me evade. Just look at this. All right. We were able to get that. Okay. And we're still trying to just build up to where we can do damage. This is why I don't really like Guillotine 2099, despite the fact that she's awesome. She's an awesome uh, character. And when you're fighting in a quest, once you get her ramped up, she's good. Uh, that heal that she gets can save your life and uh, some items in AQ. So definitely a good champion. It's just not my cup of tea. My six star is rank two and I am running suicides and boom, just went down. Okay, it happens. I don't like long fights and I tend to lose focus if the fight goes on for too long and it's not really exciting, you know, and it's a lot of stress on me. Now, some people love it. Some people enjoy that, that stress. They love to, um, you know, focus in and, uh, you know, whatever. But as you can see, I was done with that for a little bit. I said, you know what? F forget it. Forget it. Uh, we'll come back to guillotine 2099, but right now not in the right frame of mind to deal with, uh, ranking or, or ramping her up only to lose and just die to like one or two hits. I, I, I'm done with that. And like I said, I wasn't able to evade properly. All right, so now I want to try out Ghost. And I know how to fight Ghost, uh, fight with Ghost without synergies. But you'll see that I keep getting hit into my block. Look at that. She just would not back off. I wasn't able to evade. I was just getting chipped down. And I was getting so frustrated at this point. Okay, you know, I'm just like, I'm like, what is going on? I'm not able to evade. She's already an annoying uh, defender. But now I can't evade, and I'm just getting a lot of block damage. You know, it, it's it's just a bad combination of things. You know, we're, we're experiencing this uh, control issue, and what I'm having to do, I found, is evade early. But the problem with evading early, when you have an AI that's aggressive, is that they can pounce on you before you can recover. The game will not allow you to recover. So you evade early and if they pounce in that instant, it doesn't matter how fast your reflexes are, there's a built-in recovery time for your champion that they will pounce right in. And as you can see, I'm just getting wrecked. Okay, riggedy riggedy wrecked. So I'm just like, okay, I'm staring at this because I'm really, really getting upset with this. All right, now, um, you saw that, uh, I believe I showed it, that I have a bunch of revives. I had five revives that were expiring. So all of this time is being wasted, and I, I shouldn't have waited till the last minute again, but I did. And I have these and I'm like, I do not want them to go to waste. But at the same time, I don't want to just use them just to use them. I want to actually get a good um, run where I can use them to actually help me get uh, the champion down. So all of this could be considered me getting used to the fight. All right. So I said, girl power challenge. Let's just table that for now. So I'm going in with immortal abomination and i know immortal abomination can do this in my hands let's see so at this point i said no i'm gonna stick with immortal abomination i noticed that um somewhere in the fight that i could block her special and i don't take as much damage as when she kicks me into my block um, and I didn't mention this before, but there's also kinetic transference, which means she's going to be generating a lot of power when she hits into your block. And as you can see there, I got again wrecked. And that was just the nature of fighting Emma Frost, where she can fire that thing off and your reflexes, everything that you've trained to do in this game tells you to evade backwards but kabam made it so that you get punished for doing that 
that's why I don't like the reverse controls idea because I am trained. I, I, I reflex, you know, I don't even think about it. You see, I just, I saw I was getting wrecked. I said, forget that. But my muscle memory, everything tells me to evade backwards, but I have to force myself to really focus in. Now, for some people, that's easy to do, you know, um, but it's not for me. So it's much more stressful for me. Now, as I, you know, keep playing and, and, and doing this fight, I will eventually start getting used to it, get into a rhythm, but it's painful getting there. And it makes this fight not that that fun at all. Okay, do not like it. Um, now, there are champions that you can use where you don't have to worry about the reverse controls. But to my knowledge, most of them are not going to get you any of the objectives. Okay. Um, but you saw there, I think I blocked it and then evaded the second one. And the uh, weaknesses that we're putting on her are very helpful because you're not taking as much damage. And you can see here, I'm actually starting to get into the groove uh, of this uh, fight. Woo, I thought about Madonna just now. Get into the groove. Boy, you got to prove your love to me. Anyway, um, so at this point, I have a strategy. I'm a little bit used to, you know, the rhythm here. And you can see here, I'm just blocking. So I, I didn't feel it necessary to try to evade, you know. Now... I am still learning Immortal Abominations, so I made several mistakes during this fight. Uh, feel free to point them out because it'll help me learn. But um, you can see here, we've got that acid burn and uh, we're doing some good damage, okay? And now it's done. But at this point, what I wanna do, I got the uh, special three off. Now I want to fire off a special two. Keep in mind, I'm running suicides. And after I run, uh, fire off my special two, I wanna fire off the special one and just keep going uh, for as long as the uh, uh, aura is up. And once it's done, you can either go back to a special three or just start um, firing off special ones and twos. And I'm not quite clear on the strategy there. so. Uh, don't necessarily follow what I do. But this is what I was doing at this point. That was my way of thinking. Okay, get the special three and then get that special two. Now, the other thing you have to pay attention to, which I didn't all the time, is that Emma Frost will be in diamond form. Like right here, that was like a waste. Okay, that was a waste because she didn't have a bar of power. So she was in diamond form and I just fired that special two off. However, I still have the uh, aura up. You see the green icon there. And so she is gonna be taking damage. And here she is with the oscillate, the defensive, but she has power. All right, there we go. She's back in her aggressive phase. And then here again, boom. Now she has a bar of power, but I kind of wasted it a little bit again. All right, so I, I still have to learn um, not just Immortal Abomination, but how to fight Emma Frost without being able to armor break her. You know, a lot of people, they, they've learned how to do this by armor breaking her, but when she's not armor broken, she needs to have at least a bar of power and you have to have less uh, than uh, her power. Okay, so I'm still learning but we're still, even though I'm making those mistakes, as you can see, we're, we're doing some good damage. So at this point, I'm like, all right, this is a pretty good run. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. If I can't get her down at this point, then I'm just going to revive. You know, too much time has, has gone past. And then I was dead. What happened there, and something that you may forget is that Emma Frost, when she fires a special, when you get hit with her special, she puts on like a little power sting for a little bit. And of course, this Emma Frost is stacked. 
And so I had a power sting on me, didn't really remember that or realize it, fired off my special, down I went. And we were doing good, you know, we, we did get hit. So I checked here and you can see, I still have my revives, but they are, you know, about to expire. So I said, all right, this is a great time to um, use a, a revive because her health is, is down a decent amount, all right? Uh, I'm, I'm actually auto fighting uh, master mode here because I have to go uh, take my mom to the doctor uh, in about 30 minutes. So I want to auto fight here uh, a little bit master mode, use up my energy. There is um, we're doing event quest uh, completion here. And so while I'm doing this video, I'm also auto fighting right here. All right, but anyway, so we're back at it. And at this point, I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter if I have to use all five of those, let's just get her down. So we've used one uh, so far that would expire anyway. Uh, I, and again, it's my fault for waiting this long. Uh, during the day, you know, I saw how much time I had left and I said, okay, I'll do it earlier. Then my sister came out and uh, to spend time with my sister, she's not always up um she sometimes has problems uh sleeping her sleep schedule gets really out of whack and so uh to, the bottom line is i gotta get in when i can get in and spend time with her uh so what happened is we spent time together we were playing another game warframe and we uh were watching some anime and everything Time was ticking away and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, well, I have some hours left on those revives. So we're good. But then time got away from us and we went out. She needed to go out to get something to eat. And I decided to go get myself something to eat. We got back and it was time for her to, um, you know, take her medication. And we used that time to have a little family time. Okay, so now I'm, I'm eating because I went out, got something to eat. So I'm eating and spending time with my mom and my sister. And we're just, you know, having a little uh, family uh, together time. Right. When we were done, I said, OK. And I told her, look, I don't have that much time left. I can't spend more time with you afterwards i gotta like go but i might come back afterwards depending on how long it lasts but she said well she needs to get to bed because she's going to come with us this morning uh when i take my mom uh to the doctor and so she wanted to go to bed go to sleep so that she can get up i said okay well that's fine so i come in to my room and that is why you see the time uh, so low now on those revives. At least they didn't expire. All right. And uh, that time that we spent trying to get guillotine and all that, you know, all of that time was ticking, ticking, ticking away. All right. And, uh, but you can see here, uh, we're back at it and we're doing better than we were because now I'm trying to make sure that I hit her when she has a bar of power uh, up. Okay. And you can see all that damage, a lot of damage. And see, I block her special, which put her one bar of power so that she didn't have her armor. So I'm starting to get into the groove of this. Yes, I'm taking damage, but it's not that much damage. Okay, now my aura, as you see that green icon is starting to go away. And I won't go back to a special three, but what I figure, um, I got her very close here, okay? And you see how I pushed her to a special one and then fired my special off? That's what I've started to do, okay? And then you can see here, I knew I was gonna push her over. Boom, got her to a special one, but she's firing those special ones even when she's supposed to be in her defensive mode. That alone really irritates me because it's like, Okay, this is her defensive, but you can't trust her to be defensive. 
you know, it's not really a defensive mode. It's more of a defensive random offensive mode. And it's really annoying, especially when she has this special that you have to reverse your controls uh, and, and really think opposite to the way you normally would play. Okay, now I've been able to evade her special one and two, but I really want to fire uh, evade her special one. That special two is scary, and for the longest time, I wasn't able to evade it. And the reason I wasn't able to evade it, and maybe this will help somebody, is that it has a projectile portion to it. The special one does not. So special one, you just boom, boom, evade. When she fires off her special two, you have to wait because there's a projectile. If you're far enough back, don't just evade like you would the special one because you're going to get hit. So you have to watch and you'll see the projectile and then you evade the projectile and then you evade the psychic portion like you would the special one. So that's what gets a lot of people wrecked. All right, and you see here, I fired it off. She has her defensive mode up, really shouldn't have, but it is what it is. We are still getting some uh, damage in on her. Uh, you can see here, you know, she's got that poison, all right, there, and I blocked the first part and then went in here, okay, and we're getting close now. You know, we, we had to revive, but we're getting close. And you can see there, I was able to evade uh, completely because I'm getting low on health now, so I don't want to block a whole lot of them. Okay, now here she is in a defensive mode, and I don't want to let her hit me into my block, so I'm trying to evade really early. And so, yeah, see, it's really difficult with the uh, issues we're having here. All right, and then there we go. I got hit a little bit, and then boom. All right, so now, now we're doing some work, okay? Look at this. Look at them poisons. Okay, 2% health. We've almost got this, and I'm crazy nervous at this point. And we got her down with a special one. So finally, we were able to get Emma Frost down for the first time. And I think it's been like uh, a little over 20 minutes it took trying to get just the first kill. And there was no way that I was going to try and get the one shot. I, I don't really care that much uh, to get the one shot. And it was taking too much time. All right. So you can see there uh, we got the objective. Okay, now we came back to Guillotine 2099 because we still have that objective, Girl Power, I believe it's called, where you have to defeat Emma Frost with a female champion. And although Guillotine 2099 is a robot, she's a female robot. So she still um, checks the box for that particular objective. Now, after fighting with Immortal Abomination... I'm warmed up and I'm a little bit more, um, you know, I'm, I'm more used to the fight now. Okay. So uh, what I was trying to do before is I was trying to do that, get a, um, the uh, combo shield, but that's really tricky to do with her fighting unpredictably like she's uh, doing. Uh, I watched some other YouTubers and they were also having a lot of trouble with uh, Emma Frost. But fighting with Immortal Abomination, I saw that I could block the first part of it. And that helped a little bit because one of the things that's, that's so difficult is when you are reacting, you know, to her special, that's when muscle memory can kick in. But if I block the first part, I have time for my mind to then switch gears. It's like block, okay, remember, and then I do the reverse. So it gives me just enough of a delay. Now, for the first part here, all you want to do, if you're using Guillotine 2099, all you want to do is build up your combo meter. So um, don't hold the special three. Just build it up. That's what you want to do. That's what it's for. Um, you're not trying to do crazy damage because her damage is going to be pitiful uh, until she hits at least 100 combo. All right. Now I have the combo, uh, shield, but her special 
has two parts to it. Okay, so if I get hit twice, I lose my combo. And you have to build it all up again. That, like I said, that's that's one of the reasons I'm not a fan of Guillotine 2099. But I decided to uh, try, and you see I got a second combo shield, uh, to do a little bit differently and just... Uh, and then look at that. I, I'm just like... I tried to evade at that point and it wouldn't let me evade. So I'm like, really? This this is ridiculous, you know? And that throws me off because what you saw me do right there, block the first part of her special, then evade the second part, that's pretty much what I wanted to do, okay? And evade her uh, kicks and attacks into my block and just do that. That's all I wanted to do, but it's hard to evade her. See, all of that where I'm getting hit like that, all of that, all I'm trying to do is evade. That's it. I'm not trying to do anything else. You can't parry her in, in diamond form. So all I'm trying to do is evade because it hurts when she hits into your block and it gives her power that you may not want her to have. Okay. So at this point, you know, I still have my combo, but I'm not at 100 yet. So I'm still not doing good damage. All right, but we are doing a little bit of damage uh, to her and it's ramping up. See her just dancing in place. But I know that at any point in time, she can fire off her special, whether she's defensive or not, because she's not really defensive. Okay, so that's pretty much my style and strategy here. See, I'm just blocking that first part because it actually helps me a little bit um, get her to a special one. Okay, now we're in that defensive mode again. And so, again, trying to evade when she's unpredictable and with the controls doing what they're doing, very difficult. It made this fight even worse. All right. And then you can see there, you know, I'm, I've got the rhythm in there, but I've been fighting for a while and I don't like long fights for a reason. Right. So. Uh, oh, right. I just finished. uh uh, all of uh, master mode, uh, 100%. Uh, let me let me show you guys. Can you see that? That's all of it. So while I was doing uh, this video, I got all of uh, master mode. Let me uh, show you guys here. Yeah, I got all of master mode done. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the camera's reversed. Uh, and uh, let me see, how much did that give me in the event quest completion? I'm not even, uh, let me let me show you. After all of that, I'm still not at the top milestone. Still not at the top milestone for event quest completion. It is the worst one, but I do have the units here, so we're good. Anyway, um, so back to the fight. You can see I have 123 hit combo, and we're doing all right, okay? Now we're doing some damage. Now we've got the damage, and the more uh, of a combo we have, the higher our damage will be, okay? And I wish, I, I can't remember here. Um, I think I still have the, um, uh, the heal, but... I'm getting fatigued at this point, okay? I'm getting pretty fatigued, and boom. I had the heal, it didn't help me because I got hit full and flush. And honestly, even if I had survived, if I had lost my combo, I probably would have quit, okay? But we had it, we had it there. But I just got tired and we're using a revive because I am not doing all of that again, okay? And uh, I have some health potions. Let's use them. Uh, I wish there was an item use uh, event on uh, while I was doing this, but uh, whatever. So now we got to do it again. And I'm still tired. You know, that was that took a lot out of me. So here we've got 14 minutes left on my revives and we have three left. OK, so we're actually making good use of these revives. We, we took one, and we used that on uh, Immortal Abomination. Now, so far, we've used one on Guillotine 2099. And I am a little bit more 
uh, familiar with the fight, but look at this. I'm already in the corner and she's like on me. And I'm like, am I gonna end up using another revive and not really even get anything? All right, there we go. We um, are, are trying to get ourselves out of the corner uh, and, and it's hard because remember, you have to try to evade early. All right, this phase actually saved us here because it gave us um, some space, all right? And I'm pushing her back because I do not wanna be in that corner. So we fought our way out of that corner, very, very close. I was crazy nervous, okay? So here we're trying to do the same thing that we were doing before, build up to uh, a 100 hit combo and then do some work. Now, uh, I don't believe in this fight, I tried to do a uh, combo shield. I think I just said, you know what? Let's just fight her uh, like I had been doing, you know, try to avoid a lot of the block damage and, you know, just go from there, okay? Uh, let me see, oh boy. Um, I think I need to pause the video here. Um, I'm looking at the time, let me see. Yeah, we need to go. All right, so I'll come back and finish the uh, video uh, after I take my mom to the doctor. Uh, I didn't realize how late it was already. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back. It is two and a half hours after I had to pause the video. Uh, time just got away from me. My mom's appointment was at 9.30. We were supposed to leave at around 9, 9.05, something like that. And I didn't even eat breakfast. I was working on the video, didn't really keep track of time. And while we were making the video, I heard a noise at my door. Now they can hear when I'm making a video like this, you know, the uh, stairs coming downstairs to uh, my basement apartment here uh, is right behind this um, computer here, right behind my wall, right, right in front of me. And so they can hear me quite well. And so my mom was at the door lightly tapping and calling my name. And that's what I heard. And I was like, uh oh, and so you saw, I looked and I saw, and the time was 9.20. And I was like, oh my goodness. Fortunately, her appointment is not that far away. Um, and, and, and get this, just, just a little communication thing. Um, and I'll talk more about this uh, during the live stream, but um, I ask, what time is your appointment? Now you would think that'd be straightforward, right? My sister pops up, 9.15. My mom says 9, 9.05. Neither one of those were answers to my question. 9.05 was the time she wanted to leave. 9.15 was the time that my mom told my sister she wanted to be there by that they wanted her to be there you know it's the first time she's gone there so they usually want you to come a little early neither one of those was an answer to my question the answer to my question was 9 30. so like i said it's not that far we raced down there we were like a couple of minutes late um because it's not that far from the house and we took her in there and uh then we went uh to get some breakfast we went to like waffle house my sister had a, a hankering for it. I had mentioned a place that we had gone uh, yesterday with a couple of uh, church members, my pastor. And I mentioned that that place was not good, that Waffle House was better. From that, my sister had had a hankering for Waffle House. So she's like, did you eat breakfast this morning? I was like, no. So let's go to Waffle House, but I'm not paying for you. I was like, all right. So that's what we did. We went to Waffle House, um, sat down, ate, relaxed. And just before we went to Waffle House, I realized something. I didn't do incursions and we had like a few hours left. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I looked in the line chat and that's what reminded me. Someone in my line chat, Titan, uh, was looking for someone to do uh, incursion, sector eight, just, you know, the five rooms that you know, is the minimum we really need. 
and uh, I was like, ooh, did you still, did you find someone? And he was like, no. So we ran those, but I was out, you know? Uh, but anyway, I I'll talk more about that uh, during uh, my live stream today. But as you can see, we're closing up this fight. Uh, it was a really boring fight. Uh, you can see how I had to fight it, which is pretty much the same way as I was telling you. Uh, I blocked the first part of her special, evaded the second part. Sometimes I would fully evade her special. Um, and that's how we did it. 172. You can believe I was nervous once I hit 100. But you could see the damage ramping up after 100. Now, if we had played like this the first time around, we may or may not have been able to take her down in a one shot, but we got it, okay? Uh, and you can see there, I've got three left and they're about to expire, okay? Now, Nick Fury can do this fight um, and can solo this fight. I've got three revives expiring and my attitude going into this fight was not good. I was already done with this whole Summer of Pain thing. I wanted it done. I wanted it over. Now, this is Sunday um, that I'm doing this. I could have taken a break. Um, I could have just said, you know what, I'll go and I'll do it uh, a little bit later. Um, but I wanted to have uh, the video out for you guys um, tomorrow. And I know that when I'm doing the arena, yeah, uh, doing the arena and trying to make the videos can be challenging. Uh, so I'm going into this and I'm trying to basically hurry it up. You know, I want to use those uh, revives uh, if I need to. And I don't want to spend too much time. Now, this, as you can see, is the first time I'm going in here. And I'm like, okay, uh, what I need to do is get her over a bar of power. And you can see the, the bleed damage. That bleed damage is legit, okay? But I'm already fatigued from doing all those other fights that you saw before. I didn't take a break, okay? Um, but you can see he's doing some good work, and this is not the real Nick Fury yet, all right? And we baited out that heavy, but I didn't want to uh, punish it, all right? And there we go. Now, if we just continued to do this, we would get, you know, a good amount of damage in. All right. And there we go. She got that um, bar of power. And then here I just went, all right, you know what? I really wanted to finish that to get another uh, light ending attack in, but I didn't want to deal with her special too. So that's another issue. But look at the damage. Okay. And again, this is not even the real Nick Fury, but then that happened. This is a sign of me getting fatigued okay i'm starting to get caught by her specials and so i'm like okay let me back off the the real nick fury is not out yet at this time we punished her heavy attack okay but now i have more power than she does so she didn't go uh into telepath form and then i got caught again i'm tired okay should have just took a break restarted but you know i've got the boost up and i'm just like you know what let's just get it done uh, so now the real Nick Fury is out. So he's doing a lot of damage, okay? And she's in her phase where she's not going to do nothing except surprise you, all right? And then here we go, boom, all right? Now I have more power than she does, so she's back in diamond form, all right? And now I fired my special so that I would have less power and she would have a bar of power, okay? Um, it, it's a fun thing to do. Like, see here, I'm firing my specials to keep her out of diamonds so that I can do some damage. All right, so here she she has more power than I do. All right, so look at that. Now the bleed is tick, tick, ticking away because she has more power and she has a bar of power. And just look at the damage done, okay? But now she fires that off and she doesn't have a bar of power anymore. I fire this off, but I don't get her to a bar of power. So, okay, now she's got a bar of power and I used her hitting my block to my advantage because then it gave her more power okay but just look you know he's at one percent health here and he got her almost to uh let me see almost almost to a half of her health 
uh, almost to 50% of her health. And so I'm going, all right, that was a decent run. We've, uh, you know, got these expiring. So I used one, but I don't want to mess up and have it expire even after I used it. So I'm going right over there to it. And look at that. We've got only a few seconds, Le just, just under a minute, but we used up four at least. Okay. And I have to do those because I'm not going to use them in time. But I'm not so worried about the 15 percenters because I get them in all the time. Um, but the level one revives. I just wanted to use it. So if I had started this earlier, I would have been able to use that extra one. But it's not a big deal. Um, I have plenty in my overflow. So at this point, my mindset is I need to get this done ASAP. I, I don't want to deal anymore. But I'm fatigued and I'm still dealing with not being able to evade properly, okay? When you see me getting hit into my block like that, I'm trying to evade, and then boom. Just just not able to do anything at this point. Tired, not evading when I wanted to evade, and I'm like really upset because if I had not sold that one with as quick as that fight just went, I could have used that last one. But I didn't think I was going to, you know, go down within a minute. So it is what it is. Uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, once the real Nick Fury is out to heal him up past 30 percent. But it gave me just a little bit of a buffer. That's it. That's all it does, you know, especially with her hitting into my block. OK, and so here we go. She's in diamond form. So I really should have fired off my special at this point. But, you know, I'm already low because she keeps hitting my block because I can't evade her properly. Okay, and here we go. Got that uh, light ending attack. So we're, we're doing that damage. It's doing, it's doing good, but we're low, you know, because all that chip damage. Now, I evaded the, the special full that time, but I don't have enough, um, you know, health to fire off another one because of the recoil damage I would take. It would have just killed me. And trying to evade early since she kept hitting into my block and I didn't want her to hit into my block with 4% health left, she was able to hit me with that somewhat random uh, special attack. It's all good. We're just trying to get her down. Okay. So I revived again and I'm like, all right, let's, let's try. And look at this. All of that. I'm just trying to evade. That's it. It's not letting me evade, guys. It's not. So at this point, I just want to rush it. Okay, you see I evaded that. I just want to rush it. I want to hit up. But again, I'm at 4%. And she gets me again. You know, and I'm just like, at this point, I'm, I'm just done. I'm like, I will use every revive just to have this thing over. I'm not having fun. It is annoying me. And I just want to get it done. This is the last one that I have to do. And I, I just want it done. Okay. So, uh, she's, she's low. We should be able to get her, but because I can't evade like I want to, I keep getting that chip damage. And with Nick Fury, you don't want to get that chip damage when the real Nick Fury is out because it's going to chop you it. You, you're going to only have like 30% health and I, I don't want it. So you see how I'm just going in. Okay. Just going in, I didn't have enough health and uh, my suicides killed me there. Um, I think that was what happened. Um, I don't think she hit me uh, or, or put a sting on me, but uh, I was low. I was low in health and just just went down. So at this point, I'm just like, you know what? We, we're going to get it done. We're just going to get it done. You know, um, we started out pretty well. One attack, uh, one attempt, half her health. But now those issues that I was telling you about are causing me issues because he's only going to have about 30 percent health. And if she's hitting him and look at this, missed it by that much. One percent. One percent. At this point, I was just laughing. I just laughed. I was like, all right, go ahead. Take the final re revive. 1%. I 
And now I'm on guard because I can see they want my items. Okay, they want them. All right, see, look at it. hitting in my block. Can't look at it. I'm trying to evade. And I'm like, you know what? Just, just get done. So ugly, ugly fight. Nick Fury can solo this fight. Okay, but that was an ugly end to this one. But we got it done. We got it done. And the rewards in the end will be worth it. Okay, uh, so that's going to do it, guys, for this long video. Uh, you can see I got all the uh, objectives, claiming them now. All right, so take care. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your experiences with this Summer of Pain uh, was. Uh, don't be afraid to use revives. It's worth it. The rewards are worth it. All right, take care, and you all have a blessed day.